that as one of the creators of Empowering Writers and one of the creators of The Hub, one of the things I struggle with is the fact that I can't sit down and flip through my book anymore. And I know that there's some teachers out there that feel the same way as I do. So through the magic of technology, what we're able to give you now is the same flipping experience that we all know and love so well. At the beginning of this resource, you're going to see an actual replica of your guide. And the way this is laid out is that on the top of every section, so really where each tab section is, it's going to be at the top of every section in the digital hub. And what that's going to allow you to do is if you're like me and you like to thrip, flip through that resource, what you're going to be able to do is just flip. And even the best part about it is, it actually flips with the sound. So you can flip the pages, read ahead, get a whole entire sense of the unit, and then you're going to go down within the body of the hub and you can dive into each lesson. Now what I love about those lessons that are embedded in the hub that the flip book can't bring me is all of those digital resources that enhances my instruction. So today what we're offering you is the best of both worlds. Enjoy flipping. Today we're going to learn how to utilize the flipbook within our online guides. The flipbook is located in every section, but let's assume we're working on section 3. When the book loads, you will see the cover page. From this page, you can navigate to any lesson within a section in one of two ways. The first way would be to click the section on this book page to flip to it. Just like a hardcover book, you can flip the pages by clicking the bottom of each page, the right corner to go forward, and the left corner to go backward. In the same way, you can utilize the arrows on either side of the flipbook to navigate back and forth. If for any reason you'd like to go back to the cover page or first page of the flipbook, you can click the arrow in the bottom left corner of the book. The second way to navigate from section to section is to utilize the table of contents list on the left side of the screen. Clicking on any of the section names will take you directly to that section in the flipbook. To make the table of contents list appear or disappear, just click on this button all the way on the left. If you'd like to look at the pages in a thumbnail format, just click on this button. Just like the table of contents button, click it again if you'd like the thumbnails to appear or disappear. To zoom in for a closer look, Click on the plus sign magnifying glass on the bottom of the page. You can utilize the plus and minus buttons or the slider to zoom and unzoom. To enter the two page view again, just click the magnifying glass again. To add a note to a particular page, click the call out button at the top right corner of the book. You are able to drag the call out to anywhere you would like on the page. You can begin typing your note and color code it for later reference. To add another note, just repeat the process. When you'd like to view all the notes you have made, click the call out button at the bottom of the flipbook. Clicking on the note will bring you directly to that page. If you'd like to delete a note, just click in the typing area and click the trash can button. Finally, if you'd like to search for a specific word or key phrase, you can click the magnifying glass in the top right corner of your screen. That word will then be highlighted and you can click on the selection down the right side of the page to see it in the book's location.